Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is in Destroyer, the energy plant malware. Today, two different companies, one is ESET and one is Dracos, reported some very specific nation state or sophisticated malware that seems to be targeting energy plants. One company, ESET, calls it Indestroyer, while the other company, Dracos, calls it Crash Override. In either case, this malware is a sophisticated backdoor with some modular capabilities. Now, like a lot of sophisticated malware, it has a number of functions that allow it to hide and persist on a computer. For instance, it runs a second backdoor or a second instance of itself as a notepad process. If somebody kills the original process, this one takes over. It also has some kill disk or wiper functionality, basically designed to get rid of the malware if the threat actor behind it wants to press the panic button. And as far as hiding on your computer, it connects through a Tor command and control channel, and it's also very smart about only connecting during off hours so that you don't detect this command and control traffic. In any case, the most interesting aspect of this malware is some modules it uses to speak some pretty specific proprietary standards that energy and industrial control companies use. Things like OPC and other really obscure proprietary protocols that you probably aren't aware of but are pretty common in the uh, energy industry. Long story short, this malware knows how to use those protocols and it launches denial of service attacks against the those communication protocols. It can scan a network using a proprietary specialized network scanning tool to discover what kind of uh, industrial control systems are out there and then use these protocols to do things like make your power go out. In fact, while they can't prove it, the researchers that have been analyzing this malware suggest that it's very possible that this was what was used in the Ukrainian power outages last December that many people thought were a cyber attack. In any case, this is very interesting sophisticated new malware that are showing that sophisticated actors, probably nation state actors, are specifically designing malware to go after industrial control systems, which is pretty concerning. Now, if you're a security nerd like me that really wants deeper uh, technical analysis of this malware, I highly recommend you check out the uh, reference section of the blog post associated with this video. I'll post the ESET white paper and the Dragos white paper that go into a lot more detail. Now, protecting yourself against this type of malware, which obviously is very targeted, is pretty much the same as any other malware. Now that we know what it is, there's some indicators of compromise that many security controls, like WatchGuard's antivirus, might be able to block in the future. But this malware probably won't directly uh, target you or your business, unless you're in the energy industry. That said, the main reason I want to bring it up is to show that cyber attacks are getting much more serious. Nation state actors are targeting critical systems which could be dangerous in the future. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.